137 light years away, a red dwarf no wider than Jupiter lights a single turquoise halo. Orbiting every 19 days is a world half again the size of Earth. Could its global ocean cradle life or drown every hope we have left? NASA's test telescope flickered when star TOI-715 dimmed. Again, every 19 days, the pattern screamed planet. The depth whispered super Earth, radius 1.55 Earths. Stellar flux, a sweet spot between 40 and 85% of our own. Astronomers call that the conservative habitable zone. Better still, this red dwarf is unusually calm, its magnetic temper cooled by age. Flares that would normally peel atmospheres arrive here as brief murmurs, a cradle, not a crematorium. A 19-day orbit is gift-wrapped for the James Webb Space Telescope. Every three weeks, the planet silhouettes its host, starlight pours through any atmosphere, and JWST's infrared eyes sift the prism. If water vapor arches across those spectra, we'll see it. If oxygen, methane, even dimethyl sulfide the exhale of plankton, float above the waves. Their fingerprints will glow like neon in darkness. Scientists sharpen models now. Steam clouds, hydrogen sheaths, glints of continental humidity. One successful transit could rewrite every biology textbook and every sci-fi screenplay overnight. TOI 715b is not alone on the board. A second, Earth-sized candidate whispers inside the same system confirmation pending. Beyond, the seven siblings of TRAPPIST-1 dance around an ultra-cool sun. K-218b steams beneath a hydrogen sky laced with carbon dioxide and perhaps biogenic DMS. T-O-I-700D tips the scale at pure rock and mild daylight. All hover near the mysterious radius gap at 1.5 to 2 Earths, where planets seem to lose their volatile skins study them, and we learn how atmospheres escape, how oceans boil off or survive, how life might cling to the rim of possibility. Somewhere between one and a half and two Earth radii, nature draws a mysterious line. Rocky planets above this size often puff into mini Neptunes, shrouded in hydrogen. Those below stay lean and crusty. TOI 715b straddles that knife edge. If Webb sees a thick hydrogen halo, the dream of blue oceans blurs into a steamy sauna no gill could handle. But if the spectrum shows nitrogen, carbon dioxide, perhaps wisps of water vapor, that means the planet held its breath against billions of years of stellar wind, a resilience no theory can yet guarantee. Each data point rewrites the equation of atmospheric escape, and TOI 715b sits at the pivot. Ceres, little queen of the asteroid belt, hides briny pockets and accessible ice, a way station for water and nickel. Enceladus sprays organics into space, begging us to taste its hydrothermal vents. Mars waits, red and indifferent. Two-year round trips and bone loss be damned. Beyond the heliopause, visionaries sketch solar sails unfurling like silver moth wings, catching fusion laser beams and coasting to 10% light speed. Others eye rogue planets, starless nomads with thick blankets of hydrogen trapping geothermal warmth, a mobile refuge, forever black, forever moving. Home is where you anchor the reactor. Picture an ocean world, no continents, only storm lattices and endless horizon. If we land, we live in floating cities. If we fail, we sink without graves. Are we ready to gamble our entire future on waves we've never smelled? Or will we rove generation after generation, homeless among billions of empty rocks? If TOI 715B gives you hope or fear, smash that like button. Somewhere tonight, JWST's golden mirrors wait for the next 19-day blink. Maybe they'll catch the soft curve of water vapor. Maybe the dead silence of carbon monoxide maybe nothing at all. The cosmos owes us no invitations, but we keep listening, peering, launching sails into dark seas, because a true Eden, one unspoiled tide pool in an endless desert could change everything, remind us how fragile 
everything really is. When that spectrum finally paints itself across our screens, will it show a sunrise worth chasing or a warning not to sail too far from home?